Hey guys, Tebow here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the German Destroyer. That's right, German Destroyer. It's a Tier 3 G101 Alpha, which is uh, one of the two ships that were rewards for Alpha testers, assuming they reached a certain amount of games played. So this one is looks to be a mirror of the Tier 3 German Destroyer, so we'll see what happens when they actually release the line. So you'll see right off the bat the aiming uh, options for this are different than your normal destroyer. It has two single shot, single uh, torpedo launchers at the front and then two dual torpedo launchers in the back. So if you ever see one of these little buggers just keep in mind it can shoot torpedoes pretty much in any direction. A lot of destroyers you want to look for when they turn sideways, and that'll kind of give you the clue that they're launching torpedoes at you. But these German destroyers, assuming they're all like this, uh, they can presumably launch in any direction. But this one can for sure. I haven't seen any of these in the game. I've seen two of the other reward ships for Alpha testers. It's called Texas Alpha. I actually ran into like a pair of guys playing with each other a couple days ago and uh, they both had their Texas selfies out. You'll notice uh, early on in this match I'm shooting an armor piercing around so I was just testing it out. It's a smaller caliber gun so I was seeing how effective it would be. Uh, the verdict is that I wouldn't really recommend it. It was doing pretty good against this Clemson uh, Little destroyer, but the rest of the ships I shot at getting a lot of bounces or shattered shells. So just a little heads up. And you also notice that this thing uh, reloads its torpedoes very quickly. So this thing's actually a absolute blast to play. I hope the rest of the German destroyers are like this when they come out. We got uh, like four ships kind of bunched up here, so I'm just getting as many torpedoes in the water as I can. Got this um, Japanese cruiser here that's looking like he might want a couple torpedoes. And the guns on this reload very quickly too, so again, I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, it's probably not too likely you're going to run into one of these, but keep in mind it can put out quite a bit of firepower. Now one thing I didn't realize until yesterday, I think, like this ship has permanent camo on. Those uh, camos that you can set on your ship's loadout page. Those are single-use camouflages, so just keep that in mind. You're actually using them up each time you take them out for a game. But uh, these premium ships all have like this yellow and I guess black and white camo scheme. That's a permanent camo. There's this Tenryu again. I don't know if that's how you say that ship. But Again, we're still shooting the APs. A lot of them are, they're either over-penetrating or, like, very few of these shots are actually doing anything. So I think I get frustrated with that here in the next minute or so and <laughs> switch to HE finally. Now this guy, he gets stuck on the uh, island here. And that's a very dangerous thing to do when you got a destroyer messing with you, because all he can really do is back straight up, so... I have a very narrow window to put these torpedoes in. That's not going to give much of a chance. Did get a citadel there. Yeah, it puts us at a couple kills. And we do have a flood on going here. You can see the damage counter still continuing to rise.
If you can hit a torpedo into a ship that's used this damage control party, that's absolutely devastating to them. So that's always a key for really cruisers and destroyers should both be trying to identify battleships that if you see them on fire and then they put the fire out quickly, then they've used their damage control party. Uh, for cruisers, pump them full of HE, try and get them set on fire as much as you can. Destroyers, if you can hit them with a torpedo and get a flood in that guy. Yeah, like that guy finally uh, flooded out, so... Now we got the Wyoming low, we're gonna try and finish him off. It's Kuma over there. He's, uh, he's next. <laughs> in terms of who we're gonna target at least. Yeah, but this ship's absolutely a blast to play. <laughs> I'm not saying every game's a beast, but... Can definitely have some good games with it. Yeah, it puts us at four. And having switched to HE, now our shells are actually doing a little bit of damage, so that's a plus. Got the one torpedo incoming on this guy. Let's see if. Oh, no, it's gonna hit that old sunk ship there, so. I'll have to get some more in the water. Cheeky bastard sent some torpedoes our way. Luckily, we spotted them and were able to dodge them. We got two that are probably gonna hit them, but we'll. Get some more on the water just to be on the safe side here. And that's Kraken Unleashed. So it's always great if you can hit a five kill game. Attention. Reporting the target position. So, you could think, well, we did five kills, we can just sit back and relax. But we do have, the score is low enough that this game is actually going to be able to finish out. We do have two more targets on the board, so... Six? Seven? Sure, why not? Let's try it. In terms of how many of these ships I think actually exist on each server, I would guess... Maybe a hundred people got this particular ship unlocked, and maybe 20 each server got uh, Texas. I might be remembering that wrong, but it didn't seem like there was a huge... Maybe there was more that got... I don't know. It's tough for me to remember. This was at the, like November, December of 2018. Alright, so I'm kind of checking out the health on these guys. Now for these long range torpedo shots, you can see I was waiting until the numbers turn white on my indicator there. That shows that he's going to be in range. Uh, but when, when ships don't realize that a destroyer is in the area and you got torpedoes, I don't normally like to fire my gun because that will cause you to be spotted. Now as soon as he detected me then you might as well put some shots on him. But if you have torpedoes in the water and you're undetected I would recommend just keeping your gun silent. It's a lot of people when they see a destroyer heading towards them they know they're in trouble so <laughs> they'll start changing course. Uh, at St. Louis, I was hoping to. I got a couple torpedoes in the water for this guy, and then I was hoping to switch my gun over to shoot at that St. Louis, try and get the seventh, but someone else snagged him. That's alright, we got a couple of fast movers in the water heading for the Wyoming here. And yeah, we put them on the ground, so. All in all, pretty good battle. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more World of Warships Legends. 
If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them below. I'll check them out, and we'll see you guys all later. All right, peace.